thank you for coming out. And I'm just going to take a few moments, read a couple passages of scripture, and just remind ourselves of, of what um, promises from God's word that uh, Pastor Miller is holding to and is, is experiencing today. In Psalm 23, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they come for me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And those are the ups and downs of life, the, the good times, the green pastures, the rough times. And through all of that, God leads us along. And it tells us there, even through that darkest hour, the hour of death, that there's no reason to fear evil. And I know that Pastor Miller went through that time without fear of what was going to take place. Because of what it says in 1 Corinthians, where it says, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who giveth us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. And today we rejoice in the fact that David Miller has experienced the victory of what Jesus Christ did for him on the cross. And he is, his body is here, and, and later today it will be lowered but he's no longer here, and we're thankful for that. I'm going to close in word of prayer, and then uh, Jamie is going to come up and sing Amazing Grace before we're dismissed. God, <coughs> we are coming here today, and we are saying goodbye to someone we love very much. Lord, we know he's with you. Mm -hmm. Lord, as we mourn, we ask that you comfort us, you encourage us, you strengthen us. But we know that our mourning is just temporary. As was read earlier in this service, there will come a time when, if we do not see death ourselves, there will come a time when your Son will come and take us home to heaven and we will begin again be reunited. So, Lord, I pray that you will help us, as, as Thessalonians tells us, to encourage each other with those words. Lord, I pray that you help us to be faithful the way that David Miller was so faithful. I pray you help us to be people who, who live the gospel the way he did. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity. And we ask that you are glorified through our lives as you were through his. Thank you again, in Jesus' name. Amen.
to see.